So we do have a, a list of different kinds of hernia that we're going to be discussing today. So let's take them, doctor, and discuss them one by one. Let's take the first one. So inguinal hernia is the most common type of hernia that exists. That's a hernia that's in the groin, um, in the inguinal location. Uh, a little bit below that is the femoral hernia, which is just below that. Femoral hernia is more common in women, though uh, w women will have more inguinal hernias. Umbilical hernia is what we call a belly button hernia, a little uh, belly button hernia is an umbilical hernia. Uh, more common in uh, kids, um, and a baby can be born with an umbilical hernia. Um, and then incisional hernia. An incisional hernia is anywhere you've had an incision. So the moment that you have any surgery, you've had an appendix, you've had a gallbladder surgery, you've had a hysterectomy, in that area where the surgeon made the incision, opened your abdomen and closed you, there's at least a 20% chance that you can develop a hernia in that location, and that is called an incisional hernia. We have an image of an umbilical hernia, which you said can happen in kids or in babies for that matter. Mm -hmm. I was surprised to hear that. Let's take a look at that picture. And oh, so it's bulging out. Correct. So you know, a lot of the a lot of uh, parents will think of it as a deformed uh, belly button. Uh, it's an Audi versus an Innie, as you I can see. I have an Audi. Well, then you may have a hernia. Really? Well, yeah. it's, But it's just an Audi. Oh, okay. So, but that, anyway, that's uh, that's what we have to look at. And so you you notice that the belly button is kind of a little deformed. Okay. Um, and so it's it larger than normal. Larger. It's it's more protruding protruding out versus uh, in. Um, and so that is an umbilical hernia. It, occur, it can occur, in, of course, in uh, babies. It can occur in child, children, uh, adolescents, and of course, and it can occur in adults as well.